Well, I, I, cloud to me means the ability to bring new services, new applications to our customers who are mainly the communication service providers, uh, and the ability to bring innovation, obviously, uh, to, the, to our customers as well. So I think it really opens a field of new services, new models, new business models, uh, new entrants coming into the, to the market. It also means new competitors, which is always good. It's a challenge and uh, we always like challenges. Uh, so so I, I think there's a, a significant uh, you know, set of changes in the industry overall that I think cloud brings, brings with it. Well, you know, during the conference, you know, I, I obviously I spoke about this during the keynote speech. I think we're, we'll move out of, you know, what right now is more, I'd say, infrastructure building uh, for cloud, you know, enabling cloud for many applications and many businesses. But ultimately, it's got to get to being able to bring productivity to businesses, making them efficient, their people more efficient, and the ability to target customers a lot more efficiently. So I, the vision I have for it is to really be able to add value to the current set of services we're bringing to our customers. Uh, and hopefully we'll be able to do that soon by getting away from sort of the, the, the development processes that we're doing right now. Well, you know, uh, it's like any new technology in, in any industry. It's really about um, the adoption and the mindsets of the people. So both the new companies that, that are using it, um, the existing companies that are okay. deploying uh, the technology. So it, it's really a mindset shift. You know, because clearly the technology is there. It certainly is bringing differences to the market uh, and to the customers. But there's got to be this shift, this acceptance, like any new technology. Again, I mean, we're hearing issues of security and, you know, uh, the challenges of taking out existing systems or replacing them with more cloud-based systems. I mean, yes, there, there's, there's always those challenges. But more than anything, it's a mindset change that needs to happen inside the, the operators. Look, the, the business cases, if, if the operators are going to look at this on a pure business case basis today, it's probably not there. Yeah? Uh, so we can't, we can't be too focused on just the business case. The customers, the operators need to be able to see long term the value, the benefits that the technology brings. And then I think you do see the business case. I, do, I think you do see the ability it really enables them to move out of being the dumb pipe, right? This is what we've talked about for ages. So finally, you know, uh, this is really the, the opportunity for operators to grab a hold of and really bring new services to their customers to, to enter the market differently than just being a voice provider. And obviously, all the voice communications, the voice revenues are declining. They're trying to bring on data. But then we talk about data, what do we do with data? Well, the cloud enables bringing the new services, like I was saying earlier. So I, I really think that, um, you know, business case it won't be justified on just looking at it, what it means today in the next 12 to 18 months. But if we look four or five years out, absolutely, it, it means great change and great value to the, to the uh, operators. And clearly there's a business case for that. I, I think we've moved beyond the era of anything that's closed. Yeah, I, I think the ability, uh, it's very rare what Apple's doing right now, the ability to bring anything to market in a closed environment, I think that day and age is gone. Um, I don't think anyone should consider that model. So clearly any environment, we're certainly putting in a cloud environment, needs to be open. Um, the, all the way from the development of the full application stack, uh, the way it's implemented, the partners you deal with really need end-to-end -end openness in terms of the ability to develop to a, a partner's application environment. Um, the whole thing, we have to be moving to an open market. I, I think what you're saying, as difficult as this might seem, is that Apple has a model that's not sustainable in the very long term. 
I think in short term, when you can continue to innovate and you can continue to stay ahead of the curve, curve clearly we've seen you know, business history proves you can do that for some time as long as you're really investing to stay ahead of the curve. But over time, as other uh, competitors in the industries evolve and the technology becomes less so innovative and more mainstream, that clo those closed environments go away and you're in a very different game. And now the people that were in those closed environments don't know how to compete in an open market. And you'll see this shift. I think we've seen this in the history of Apple before, right, with the PC. Yeah. We've seen this. And the same dynamics playing here. Steve Jobs is still Steve Jobs. He hasn't changed. Uh, but I, I, I think uh, we'll see that this will also happen here in the, in the telecom space. Well, look, it, it is an issue, yeah, um, but no different than it was for e-commerce, where you're putting your credit card or anything else into the internet space. Uh, Any time uh, customers or um, partners or anyone takes anything away from their closed sort of firewall, the, anything sitting behind their firewall, it, it always is going to be a, an issue, a question in the operator's mind. But I wouldn't make it uh, more pressing or more urgent here than it was in e-commerce or any other market. It's clearly one that should, any, any operator that's implementing cloud technology needs to pause and really have a plan around how they're handling security and ensure that they're doing all the proper things to guard their data, their customers' data in a secure way. Um, but these are things we've, we've known about for you know, 15 years you know, now in the internet space in general. Um, that doesn't change. There's nothing new that cloud brings to the table, really, that changes the requirements we've always had around uh, security. So I, I think the pause is probably, uh, is probably uh, valid, um, but to not do something for security reasons would be uh, probably the wrong decision. I think you'll see a trend here of more mature, especially in the telecom space, uh, operator space, uh, and in general. The more mature the markets are in these spaces, the earlier, the, those will be the early adopters. Why? Because if you have existing systems in place and you're looking to replace them, you're looking to be innovative, you're going to probably turn to a cloud environment because it both lowers your cost, one, and then two, enables you to bring, like I said earlier, new services, new applications. So North America, certainly, uh, Europe, you know, you'll see the early adoptions there uh, in a bigger way than you will in some of the more developing markets. Um, and again, because they're putting technology in place for the first time. Now, in, in some cases, you'll see them do it as well, but I don't think you'll see that as quickly or the urgency around adopting techno uh, cloud technology as you will in North America and Europe. I think you'll see it much sooner and quicker there and in a bigger way. That's great. Thank you very much. Okay.